So now that Vito has, you know, joined the Mafia and he's a made man, I imagine this will end up going one of two ways. Either A, he'll just climb further up the ladder and get even more power, or B, shit will all hit the fan. Which one's it gonna be? I have no clue, but I'm excited to find out. Hola mis amigos, Sam Possible. Uh, me guys, my name is Taffrey16, and welcome back to Mafia 2. Uh, where do I change my clothes at? You think there'd be like a dresser around here? That's the bathroom. Uh, change your clothes, you find out one wardrobe. Okay, yeah, but where is the wardrobe? Oh, here we go. Um, so. Something's going down. We gotta go over to Joe's. I'm not sure what's going down. Uh, oh, sweet. Oh, I still got this car. Nice. Alright. We live in a pretty nice area now. Sorry. Can't turn the radio on. I'm trying to get copyrighted. Um, let's see. It is over here. Okay. Cool, so how long has it been since the last episode of this? It doesn't feel like, it feels like not that long, but also kind of long. I think it was like two, three weeks ago. I think we've done one this month, but it was probably at like the beginning of the month. So yeah, probably like, ooh, probably like three weeks ago. Damn it. <laughs> you haven't gauged by now, by the way, I am a master driver. I'm not speeding, fuck off. I am speeding. Still, fuck off. Man, I, I, I gotta be careful because I've been playing a lot of GTA 5 recently. And I mean, with, with that game, you can be reckless as hell as far as driving goes. In this game, if you're too reckless, you're gonna die. The consequences are a little bit more realistic in this game. So, I gotta calm down a tiny bit. Ay. Will that, in turn, make me a better driver? Probably not, but you know how it is. This car fucking zooms, though, I'll tell you what. It's hard to resist. Where the fuck is Joe? I'm surprised he doesn't have his own pool house, too. Is he still in the apartment buildings? I guess he likes it. It is a nice apartment, but, I mean, I got a full-ass house. That's why I'm kind of like, I figured maybe he would have gotten a new place as well. To be fair, I didn't have my own place, really. Actually, no, I did. I had an apartment. Yeah, Vito had an apartment. Hmm. I don't know, though. I don't know. Maybe things have gone better for Vito than they have for Joe? I don't know. Okay, what goes on? Man, I went on with a baseball bat, and they looked like they were scared till Boy, yesterday. Fellas. Oh, hey, good morning, Vito. Marty, what are you doing here? Joe said you needed help. And since I did good with the greases, he said he'd take me along again. Take you along again for what, exactly? They're waiting for you. Yeah, well, uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Uh, yeah, that's my man, Vito. <laughs> morning, Mr. Falcone. <laughs> Hiya, Vito. Take a seat. Hey, guys. <sighs> so what's happening? I heard how you got rid of Luca, Vito. Good job. Thanks to you, we now have proof that Clemente was behind the attack on our guys. We couldn't do anything to him openly till now. He just cut his own throat. He kidnapped and tortured our guys, and that means war. Anything we do now, I'm going to be able to justify before the commission. Alberto knows this, so he's going to act quickly and try and come after us first. So we're going to take out Clemente. Exactly. Turns out Clemente called a big meeting in the Empire Arms Hotel today. This is our best chance to get rid of him and his top guys. Oh, sure, yeah. We'll just waltz right in there and kill a few dozen heavily armed men in broad daylight in the nicest hotel in town. Is that about right? Don't worry. I got a plan. Shit! Joe, put that thing away. Eddie, don't worry. It's safe. I just gotta For press Christ this. Sake, put it away now. <laughs> okay, What's the with you? okay. You're such a chicken shit. Okay, okay. So now we're gonna waltz right in and blow up the nicest hotel in town. Isn't that overkill? Don't worry. This thing ain't that powerful. It won't blow up the whole building, but
But everybody in a room where it goes off is dead meat. How are we gonna know when to detonate it? We'll use a window washing platform. We'll almost be able to watch it explode. Since what are you the smart one? Okay, fellas. I'm counting on you. All right. If all goes well, I'll have something nice for you. When it's over, call Eddie at this number. Oh, by the way, I closed the bar today. Just in case Alberto tried something. Hey, good luck, fellas. Hey, what about that kid in the hallway? You mean Marty? Uh, he ain't part of the organization, so he had to wait outside. I mean, why is he here at all? Why do you think? He's going with us because we need a getaway driver and somebody to cover our asses. What do you got against him anyway? I known him since he was a little kid, and he saved my ass with them greases. Yeah, but we're not fighting a bunch of drunk dirtbags this time. We're about to take out the most powerful family in this city, and you're bringing a kid. And how True. old were you when you started doing this shit? You're talking like you're some old fart. Look, Vito, he's gonna wait in the car outside and drive us away. That's it. He ain't even gonna know what we're doing there. He's a great driver, and that's exactly what we need on this one. Okay, Joe, whatever. But I'm telling you right now, this is a bad idea. Well, let's hope he surprises us then. Hey, hey, Joe. So, uh, what kind of job is it? The kind you don't need to know about. Gabish. Oh, okay. But hey, if you need it, I got my piece. Right here. Yeah, all right, slow down, Billy the Kid, all right? It's hmm. not gonna be necessary. Let's just go. Did I come for this way? I think so. Did I come for the other way? No, I came for the other way. Damn. Alright, well. We'll take my car. Alright, I'll drive. Where is your car? Why? I want to take my car. Alright, fine. That car better respawn back to my house, though. Enjoy. Get in. Come on. We'll burn daylight, mofo. How far off is it? A little over there. Meet me. Just don't go busting it up on the way there. Of course this is not. It's a getaway car. Plus, I'm pretty sure that explosives and car crashes don't go together too good. True. Explosives? <laughs> yeah. For a little fireworks show. Forget you heard that. Oh, I actually Going have to, to be the careful. Empire Arms Hotel. Park in the underground parking lot and use the back entrance. Oh no no no! I am 100% gonna blow this car up. Oh no no no! Oh, this is gonna go really bad with me at the wheel. Did you not see that light turn red? Yeah, I did. Do I give a shit? No. Since when are you captain traffic laws? So, uh, fellas, come on, tell me. What's going down at the hotel, huh? Don't huh, tell come me. Come on. Well, what are you writing a book? I already told you everything you need to know. Hey, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just curious, you know? All this secrecy. Marty, all this secrecy is important. The less you know, the better off you are. And if you keep asking questions, I'm just gonna have to find somebody else to drive us next time. Okay, okay. Ooh. No more questions. Sure, sure, whatever. Let's calm so down a bit, Marty. Blow the hotel sky high, huh? Marty! Sorry, sorry. One more word out of you. All right, sorry. Not another word. Cross my heart. Why, I oughta. Oh, boy. All right, here's the hotel. The entrance to the garage is on the other side. Hey, I made it. Good for me. Didn't blow us up. Boy, shit. Watch me blow us up on this door. Whoa. Okay. Park in there. And hey, we gotta leave all our guns in the car. The last thing we need is one of Clemente's goons searching us and finding them. Okay, that seems risky. Risky, risky, wiki, wiki. This is in the middle. Alright, if you don't me, you'll go in and do what needs to be done. You wait for us here. When you hear a big boom, start the car up, because you're gonna need to get the hell out of here pronto. And you won't need that gun unless somebody follows us, but that shouldn't happen. Okay, okay, I got you, Joe. Why was Clemente Joe's audio so quiet? The, there? Floor, the third one from the top. 
There's a couple of suites and conference rooms up there, and guards. So how are we gonna get up there? Round the back, through the laundry room. Why, you wanna wash your shorts before we do this? <laughs> Wise ass. The meeting hasn't started yet. We'll grab some hotel worker uniforms, then we'll go do a little cleaning upstairs. Seriously? When did you become the smart one? I know. Fuck off. There's supposed to be a guy waiting for us inside with the uniforms. Let's go. And we don't want to make a ruckus before Clemente gets here. So don't go doing nothing stupid. <laughs> Shouldn't I be telling you that? Stay here. Ah, uh, where's the fucking bridesmaid? <laughs> That seemed unnecessary. Ah, shit. It's closed. The idiot was supposed to leave it open for us. Well, now great. we gotta wait and hope that asshole shows up. Fuck! Can't we just get in some other way? You could try, but I'm gonna wait here for a while, just in case Numbnut shows up. That lazy piece of shit. Come on, you idiot. Oh. Oh, nice. Look, I'm really sorry I couldn't get here sooner. Another minute, you would have been late to your own damn funeral. Sorry, I was. All right, enough. Just get the hell out of here. See? I got it all under control. Hmm. Come on, let's go pick up our uniforms. Would he have to shut up if I just waited, or do I have to come over here to activate him? I actually don't know. Vito, one more thing. Here, put this on. Are you fucking serious? So nobody recognizes us. <laughs> Just put it on. Great. My lord. Let's go. Nice. Hey, you two. Get over here. What goes on? Clean up this fucking mess, you idiots. Clean this shit up, will you? Somebody's gonna slip and break their neck. Let's go, move it. Hey, you two. You got some more work upstairs waiting for you. Get moving. Hey, Richie, come with us. That was fucking Henry. Yeah. All right, come on. Let's get up there before he gets back. Well. Yeah. I haven't seen Henry in a while. Hasn't changed a bit. Hey, <laughs> yeah. I hope we don't come back before we do our thing. Henry's good people, even if he does work for Clemente. Yeah, but what if he does? Don't even think about that. I feel like an idiot with this thing on my lip. Yeah? Well, too what close. if we run into somebody we know? This way, they won't recognize us. You okay, sure about so. that? We're really obviously just wearing fake mustaches. Where the hell you guys been? Somebody spilled something in the conference room. Gotcha. You ain't gonna ask what it is. How it got there, you're just gonna clean it up. There's okay. a big meeting starting soon. And the boss ain't gonna be too happy if the place ain't sparkling by then. So if you know what's good for you, you'll get the place spick and span, and then get the fuck out of there. Let me make it up. 
Yes, sir. I don't think so. I insist. I feel terrible. No. Don't get recognized. These two are here to clean up the uh, mess. The mess? Oh, that mess. All right, come on, you two. What's the matter? You don't like pizza? One of the guys who was uh, here before, he uh, tripped and fell. The poor uh -huh. guy hit his head pretty hard. About five or six times. So now there's blood all over the fucking place. And we got a meeting that's supposed to start soon. So you gotta get this shit cleaned up. And you gotta make... Okay. Fucking tricks. Hey, calm down, will ya? They're not gonna be around to bother you much longer. Hey, hey, yeah. Give me a hand here. All right. We're gonna get caught, aren't we? The, the, oh, fuck. Uh, the yellow, the blue, and the plus, and the plus, and uh, the red, and match, and the negative, and the, uh, the blue, and cross over here. Perfect. Okay. The hard part is almost over. <clears throat> Shouldn't we actually clean this? Over yeah. here, clean this too. I was gonna say, it's gonna look suspicious if we don't actually clean this. Looks like you're done. All right, you just can get out of here. All right. Okay, now let's get to the roof. Don't make eye contact. Okay, well, hopefully the bomb goes off. Oh, getting aimed. Damn, I ain't used to this much exercise. Why did I gotta put so many fucking stairs? I don't know, Vito. man. Vito, hold on. I forgot something. What? Yeah, this is for you. Just in case something goes wrong. This is nice. Some piece of work, huh? 1911 coal with a modified clip. Hell did you, uh... Holds 23 bullets, so the ammo goes quick. And don't go losing it. These are the only two in the whole world. Thanks. Never mind. Holy shit. We gotta go to the window washing platform. Huh. Come on. Shit, I meant these guys. Fuck me. Alright, let's get out of here. Oyster. Hold on, hold on, check it out. <laughs> what do we do now? Well, hey, what the fuck are you doing here? Get lost. Shit. Okay, you know. Is that what we're supposed to do? You can give me a fucking direction. Get the fucking vegetables out. Uh oh, you're in trouble. Let's go, Vito. I can't play that. Oh, no, it put him down. Come on, let's go. Chop, chop. Damn. There we go. Be careful. There might be more in them. 
Come on, get off it. Yeah. I'd like that gun, please. Got him. Okay. I think we got him. Joe? That's it. Joe, what are you doing? Do I have to do everything? They're gonna know we're fucking here now. What the hell are you two doing? I wasn't done with my... Oh, shit. Jesus, okay. Okay, don't shoot. I'll do whatever you say. All right, put your hands behind your back. We ain't gonna hurt you. I might. Here's some tape. Tie him up. Oh, okay. You should consider yourself lucky. Everybody else got shot. My lord. Okay, get on. We got work to do. Don't act suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Hey. Don't be suspicious. How much wire you got? Enough. How much is enough? Will it reach up to the roof? Of course not. We'll just go up one or two floors and blow it. So much for you being a smart one. What? This is crazy. What if the explosion takes us out, too? It won't. We'll barely feel it. You better not. If we fall off this thing, you're gonna be dead before we hit the ground. Yeah. So what is don't be suspicious? Just stand here? Okay. This is the right floor. Okay. Vito, grab the squeegee and start washing windows so we don't look suspicious. I gotta connect the wires. Where's the squeegee? Oh. What the fuck are you waiting for? This ain't no fucking peep show. Get back to work. Okay. Oh, Lord. Okay, got it. Take us up a bit. Payback's a bitch. Ah, yeah, just like clockwork. <laughs> ah, here we go. These assholes ain't gonna... Whoa! Oh my God. Fuck it in. Ah. What the hell was that? I don't know. Thing just blew. We'll barely feel it. All right? right, all right. Let's go take a look. I don't know why I fucking listen to you. I swear, you're like a half a retard sometimes. Jesus. What the? Shit. Roger, I almost pissed on my fucking shoes. What here. a fucking mess. Felt like a fucking earth, but what the fuck? Oh shit. Lucky bastard. You assholes! You're gonna die for this! Get away! Come on, Vito! Goddamn. Hey, you sure made one hell of a mess. Yeah, but it wasn't enough. Move it, bitches! I'm still alive. Sorry, bud. No! I 
I can't see a damn thing through all this water. Bring it. Oh. Fix it. Fuck. There's more of them coming. Come on, assholes. I'm waiting for you. Three. Two. Get out of there, lady. We ain't got nothing against you. Yeah, get out of here. Oh boy. Well, this went well, huh? Next time, bring a bigger bomb, will you? Hey, how the fuck was I supposed to know Clementi will be in a bedroom? He wouldn't have been if the bomb didn't go off early. Don't worry, we'll get him. Will we? Are you serious? Shit's so ridiculous in this game sometimes, I swear. A shotgun? Wait, I just saw a shotgun. Yes. Alright. No. Oh my god! They shot him! He's dead, Fido! Choke him up. Gotta get out of here. You can't help him now. Holy fuck. He's getting away. Let's go. I'm gonna kill that fuck. Jesus. Oh yeah, taking him was a bad idea. He didn't fuck anything up. But... You think it's over? Wrong, assholes. Oh my right, you this too. gotta be if they split up, make sure you follow Clementi, not the other guy. I know how to drive, alright? Just be ready with the gun. No, don't I worry don't. About that. Just follow Clementi. Dude, this pillar. thing has the job. What is I going on? Okay. Oh, 
Fine. If I ran, I have ran the sky. Speed out as well. Be careful, Vito. He did, but at a cost. Come on. Faster. Oh no, I know, I know, I'm going. I think I got away with that. That fucking works. Got him. That's the end of him. Can't be sure unless we check. Fuck. You want a beer? Give me Eddie's number. I'll call him. Right. Hello? This is Joe. It's done. Everything went smooth. No, it didn't. Why? Marty's dead. What? They got Marty. We left them there. Okay, okay, what about Clementi? Done. All right. Hey, don't worry about the kid. Small price to pay. The main Sm thing is it's Small done. price? Come on now. That's my fucking friend you're talking hey, about. Joe, Joe, don't go taking it out on me. It was your right there. Nobody forced the kid to go. I'm sorry, but shit happens, right? Come by the Falcon tomorrow to get your money. Yeah, whatever. The fuck you're sorry? All right, take it easy now. All right, calm down. Where is I'm Joe? Sorry too. What do you think? Is he you invisible? Miss. You too. Uh... This was a dangerous job. You took him along. He died. What? You think the war was any different? And Eddie didn't even know the kid, so don't blame him. Uh... You should go home. I thought he was just in the other room. <laughs> okay. Well. Oh my God. <laughs> just give me a minute to get changed. He's invisible. <laughs> I'm sorry, kid. <laughs> I am so sorry. Oh, it really takes the drama out of this scene, bro. <laughs> With him being invisible and whatnot. <laughs> Holy shit. I thought he was just in the upper room on the phone. Oh, that's so funny. Holy shit, dude. Damn it, did my car despawn? Oh. I got a lot of cards, it seems. Okay. Pair that. Yep, we'll go. Interrupt this segment of Empire Classic my Radio. Lord. That's such a funny glitch. He was straight up invisible, bro. <laughs> That's a hilarious glitch. I legit, I just thought like, I just thought he was in the other room on the phone, but then I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> that sucks about Marty though. Actually, I honestly did not see that coming. And holy shit, this thing flies. Oh, this is dangerous. The cop right here too. They're gonna wanna find me in a second. Ah, fuck it. Find me if you want. I can get away. In pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Yeah, fuck you. You're not gonna catch me in this. Find this dick. Nice. Oof. That worked out all right. That's really funny. Well. I, I don't even know, like, that really kills the drama of the scene, I gotta say. <laughs> that is an unfortunate time for that to happen. Where the hell am I going? 
My house? Okay. My house is over here. Didn't, I think I've taken the back way as compared to before. Ow! I thought I was on a wild goose chase. Yeah, I, might, I thought I was going home. Is this where my house is? I'm not entirely sure about that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, here we go. Alright. Probably a school zone, so gotta be careful. Alright. Home sweet home. Uh, should I just go to sleep? Phone's ringing. Hello? Yeah, uh, is this a uh, veto? Who's asking? Name's Leon. I'm the bartender at the Lone Star. I'm ringing you because Joe Barbaro gave me your number. Says he's a friend of yours. Yeah. What about him? Well, old Joe been guzzling my top shelf hooch all night long, dribbling on about some cat named Marty, and now he done just gone plain salty on me. What the hell are you talking about? Your friend is out of control, man. He all waving his gun around and shit, and we can't talk no sense to him. <sighs> Great. Now look, I ain't looking for no trouble with you fellas. Could you please come pick his drunk ass up before he shoots somebody or somebody calls the police? Veto. You got to come on down here and pick his ass up. You coming or not? Yeah, hey, right, yeah. I'll be right there. And hey, don't give him any more booze till I get there. I'm a try, but your friend, he ain't gonna be down with that. You dig? Yeah. Hey, if you don't cut him off right now, I'm gonna cut you off when I get there. Got it? All right, man. All right. Just hurry. All right. How many people are in the bar right now? Just me now. The joint was jumping about an hour ago, but now everybody done gone and split. All right, listen. Lock the place up till I get there. I'll be there in a minute. Okay, gotcha. All right. To help Joe, more like help them from Joe. Do I have anything other than this? High school outfit. Oh my god. Red jacket with shirt. Casual suit and hat. Casual. This man. This man says casual suit. That's the local casual suit. How far off is the bar? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Okay. I, I thought it was going to spawn on. Ah, fuck hoods. Who needs them? Certainly not me. Boy. Windy roads needs to be a sh. We're good. Well, oh, now we're zooming. Oh shit, we're zooming too fast and too far. High quality zoomage is too high quality. I didn't just run somebody over, did I? I don't think so. Knock, knock. Vito, you here? Right. Where is he? Over in the corner there. Now look, I tried to cut him off, but the motherfucker was gonna air my ass out if I did. Okay, lock that door. And just give me a minute with him. Had a couple, huh? How you feeling? Vito. About time he is not invisible, sir. Everybody went home already. Gee, Joe. I wonder why. Oh. <laughs> right. You drive here? Ah, I took a cab. I wouldn't park my car in this neighborhood. All right, finish your drink and let's go. You fellas about to leave? Marty, I'll let you out. Here's to you, kid. You went out like a man. Shit, now where'd I put my keys? I'm so <clears throat> This never should have happened. Oh. 
Never should have happened. Oh, Jesus! Jesus! Ah, shit. Oh my God! You gotta be kidding me! What the fuck is wrong with you? I was just. You were just what? Shut your fucking mouth and get your drunk ass outside. All right, all right, I'm going. Bro. Well, shit. Oh, now, now is not the time for that. I didn't need a theme song for this. God damn it. <laughs> that was not on purpose. Oh, this is 100% not cool. Where this? Oh, where this car come from? Is this his car? He said he didn't drive here. Well, he was drunk. want to arrest you? Why? I didn't do nothing. Ah. What arrestable offense could I have possibly committed? Well, I didn't do anything. Joe did. I didn't. They should want to arrest him. Not me. I didn't shoot the guy. Not my fault. It's not passing the blame if it's true. Alright. You don't say anything or no no dialogue? Okay. It's too drunk to speak, I guess. Awkward silence. So, uh how you guys doing? Hopefully I get that speedy ass car back. I had to ditch it there. Be nice if I did. And if I don't, well then I guess don't drive cars that you want back. Shit. There's a cop right up here. He's going 80 in this bitch. Oh lord. Yay. Why did they want to arrest me? Was it. Oh, almost died. Why did they want to arrest me? Was it from the, uh... I don't need to repair this car, it's fine. I don't think it's mine. Was it from the job back there, or was it because I broke that fence? I think it was because of the fence. I doubt they heard that gunshot go down. In pursuit of a hit-and-run driver! Ah, shit. Roger that. Now they have a reason. Let's see if I can outrun him in this. In pursuit of a speeding vehicle! 10-4. You know what? I ain't got time for this. Here. You know, I'm gonna have to give you a fine for this. Yeah, it's fine. Here, can I go now? Alright, I don't want to see your face again. Yeah, we absolutely don't have a dead guy in our trunk, by the way. That's why I let you know. That's not something that we have. Okay. Cool. He was real cool about it. Oh, that's not cool. That dude done cut me off with some GT5 RNG right there. Or AI, I should say. Real awkward car ride. All right, we're here. Try not to shoot anybody on the way to the front door, huh? Thanks, Vito. And hey, I'm sorry about. Look, just call me tomorrow, okay? Well. And now we gotta dump this body. Did my mouse just go out? I think it did. Oh, we're good now. 
Same place as last time? I'm guessing. How far off is it? Oh, it's just up here. Yeah, I think this is the same place as last time. Everybody. Yeah. Dumping bodies. Yeah. Everybody. We'll dump your body right. Dumping bodies tonight. Alright. Boy. Be discreet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's the commands? Oh my god. I'm just saying, I get I better get that speed mobile back. I'm sure there'll be equal cars, but still. I want it back. Ah. That makes sense. Just gonna crush it up, yeah? That's fucked up. Ah, oh, shit. I should go home now. Go home how? Where'd that one go? Where'd they take it to? How's it get disposed of? I must have missed it. Better be decently fast. Okay. Um. Ah, oh, damn it. All right, got it. I hope it has some speed on it. Ugh. How far off is my house? It's still there. I'm gonna find out. Uh, it might. I don't know. I won't really know until I take it on the road. Alright. Get a straight and narrow path. Okay. Yeah, it's got something decent to it. It's not bad. It's not a speedster or anything. But it's, it's not bad. See what this can do. Yeah, that's what this kind of road I was looking for. Okay, it's more of a climber. Okay, you got 60. You can do 80, I think. But yeah, it's a climber. Then that cop was not suspicious of that. <laughs> Way they. I can do... I think this can definitely hit 80, though, I think. Don't know if I can do more than that, but... It can definitely hit 80. Really? Now, the fucking speed car had four to get to 100, so... You can see why I want that back. I hope because it's in my garage, it saves. But again, I've been, repeated this multiple times, but... If, if, that, if you take a car out and you have to leave it because of a mission and you don't get it back, number one, that's bullshit. Number two, I guess it's just not worth it, though. Not worth getting attached to cars. You ain't gonna get them back. It's not legal parking, but it's not my car, so what do I give a shit? Actually, I can check. Okay, no, yeah, I still have it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Making sure. I think I have all this money. Can I put this in my garage, actually? And just keep it? I might as well. I like the color. It's a really cool shade of green. So I'll keep it for those reasons. Here we go. Nice. Alright. 
Hey, what a day, huh? I need to get some motherfucking sleep. That's most definitely got to be in this chapter. That took me about an hour. Yep. Chapter 11. A friend of ours. July 27th, 1951. Oh, God. Who the hell is that? Now, yeah, might as well find out. Really? I have to change my clothes to open the door? Oh, hey. Hey, Vito. Long time no see. Sure. Long time. What do you want, Henry? A drink. Let's take my car. Okay. This guy's gonna kill me, isn't he? I'm sure, this is a good idea. Well, I guess you know Clemente's dead, along with everybody else. Listen, Vito, I know Falcone had something to do with this. Yeah, and? And I'm worried that he's gonna want to take out what's left of the family. And I should care about this. Why? Well, yeah, look, about you going away. I'm sorry for what Clemente did to you. But he got what was coming to him, right? I don't give a rat's ass about that old bastard. Matter of fact, I'd work for Falcone just the same. You saying you want to join up with us? Yeah, and since you work for him, I thought, uh, maybe... You think you could put in a good word for me? Yeah, sure. Me and Joe can vouch for you. Nice. Thanks, Vito. I owe you one. Okay, well... So, uh, how's life? You mean before or after half the guys I know got killed? That business at the hotel. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Got no idea what you're talking about. That's funny, because a buddy of Joe's got popped in the parking lot that day. So I just figured you'd do in on it. Buddy of Joe's? Who are you talking about? You know, that fucking kid used to come into Freddy's with Joe all the time. What's his name, uh, Mikey? Oh, man, this uh, thing is 120. Holy is. shit. You mean Marty? Yeah, yeah, that's the kid. Get a voice like fucking Minnie Mouse. Yeah. Yeah, I heard about that. So you sure you weren't there that day? You're positive. Let's put it this way. Me and Joe were out taking care of something for our boss that day. That's all I'm gonna say. You know what? It don't matter anyway. But do me a favor, would you? Yeah, sure. Next time, get a better disguise than a phony fucking mustache. I saw you two pricks from a mile away. <laughs> you know what? Can you please not talk about this right now? Wherever again? Don't worry about it. You did what you had to do. You ever get the feeling you'd be better off in a different line of work? To be honest with you, not really. This is what I am. What I'm good at. Fair enough, yeah. bud. Man, I guess it pays a hell of a lot better than being a fucking taxi driver. I was thinking about skipping town after that business at the hotel. But where am I gonna go? What am I gonna do? That's why I came to see you. So oh, I was your last resort, huh? <gasps> oh, yeah. Again? Don't worry about it. You do what you had to do. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, we get the feeling you'd be better off in a different that man cut me off on purpose. You see that you. shit? Not really. That this man was a I paid am. federal agent. What I'm good at. Yeah. No, I guess it pays a hell of a lot better than being a fucking taxi driver. I was thinking about on skipping purpose. town after that business at the hotel. But what am I gonna fucker. go? What am I gonna do? That's why I came to see you. So I was your last resort, huh? This is where we were. Enough enough. Yeah, I'm I'm a speeding vehicle. vehicle. Look, uh... Joe Copy Sarah, that. But I wouldn't exactly want him speaking on my behalf. You know what I mean? Yeah, I can get away. <laughs> yeah. Can't argue with you there. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, I'm not gonna get away. Alright, fine. Dick! This one's gonna cost you, sir. I know. New officer, do yourself a favor, pal, and straighten up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, get back in the car. Shut up! Ah, there it is. Hey, you just blew the light. Yeah, and. 
What's with, what's with you people? <laughs> We're fucking mobsters. <laughs> Jesus. What is? I swear I have to sit in the right angle just to open a fucking door. Hey, hey, Vito. You got that money for me? Always keep my word, don't I? Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Thanks. Where's Joe? Uh, he was here before, but then he left. Looked pissed off. Though lately, he always looks pissed off. Yeah, can you blame him? Listen, uh, I need to talk to you about something. Well, what, is it important? I'm busy with Vinci right now. He's planning to make a move on us, and we don't know how or why. I, I, I gotta sort this shit out. Yeah, well, I think it's worth hearing me out. All right, go ahead, but make it quick. All right, the guy I know who works for Clementi called me. He's worried. He's not sure if we'll be going after the rest of Clementi's guys or not. <laughs> oh, that's good. As far as I know, the boss ain't planning nothing at this point, unless they try something stupid. Okay, well, this guy also asked me if he could come work for us. Yeah? Who is it? Was he a friend of yours? I did a few jobs with him for Clementi. Really knows his shit. <sighs> okay, tell him to stop by. <sighs> well, uh... He's here right now. <laughs> he is? All right. Go get him, then. Eddie, this is Henry Tomasino. Henry, this is Eddie Scarpa. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Scarpa. Don't call me Mr. Scarpa. My friends call me Eddie. Uh, take a seat, Henry. So, Vito tells me you want to join up with us. Yeah, I'm out of work right now. And I don't want to make a big deal out of what happened. Now, that's good thinking. Tell me something first, Henry. Were Clementi and Vinci planning anything against our organization? <sighs> okay. I usually keep my nose out of things like that. But I was with Luca Garino once at Leo Galanti's place, and Luca was going on and on about Falcone being involved in some dirty business and that something should be done about it. I think he was trying to turn Vinci against you. That bastard. I bet he was talking about drugs all the while he's dealing them himself. He knows that Vinci is totally against us. Yeah, probably fooled the old man good. So that's why he's planning to move on us. No, we gotta hit him first. Again? Hey, if we don't act, Frank will. First, we gotta get rid of Galante. Without him, Frank's fucked. Leo? I wanted to keep you out of it, but I didn't have anybody else who could pull off a job like this. Now I'm thinking this could be the perfect opportunity for Henry here to prove himself. What do you say, Henry? You up for it? If it means I'm in when the job's done, Sure. Exactly. Take care of Leo. And what about you, Vito? I'd feel a lot better if you went with Henry to make sure everything goes smooth. And I don't mean you gotta whack the guy. Just drive there, wait until it's done, and drive back. But if it don't feel right, I can ask somebody else instead. What do you say? Sorry, Eddie, I can't do this. Leo was like a father to me back in the can. Yeah, I understand. Well, looks like you gotta take care of this yourself, Henry. You can hire some help if you want, but you gotta do this so nobody suspects it was us. Leo lives in Highbrook. Got it. Don't worry. It'll be done today. Okay. You better get going in. Damn, that See sucks. See you later, Eddie. It's a good thing you brought him here. Even if he screws up, nobody will know it was us. I don't think Henry's gonna screw it up. That's good. Well, Vito, I got nothing else for you today, but uh, drop by tomorrow, okay? Yeah. I'll see you later. Eddie. See you. That sucks. Warnley. Oh no. Ciao, Mr. Scaletta. Uh oh. Are we really gonna do this? Oh. On the radio station, that's fine. The music is. Oh shit. Oh man. Uh oh, Vado. I mean, I understand it and I respect it, but this just don't seem like a good idea. Man, poor Henry. <laughs> At 
necessarily gonna have to be the puppet in this. In pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Oh, will you fuck off. Copy that. This is an officer. I ain't got time to be going not fast at the moment. I'm trying to save my surrogate dad from certain doom. Three grand as well. Oh, shit. This is gonna get us in some shit. Okay. Oh, so the cops care about speeding, but not driving on the wrong side of the road. Got you. At least I got that priority straight. Understandable. Have a nice day. Bet you I destroyed this in front of him. You'd be pissed. Bet you'd be seeing that. It'd be like, oh, what the fuck? Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Leo. Leo, you here? How the hell did you get in here? Get out of here! Oh, shut the Leo, Leo, up put here. it away. It's me, Vito. Vito, what the hell are you doing here? You could have called. Leo, me. there's no time to talk. You gotta get out of here quick. They're after you. What? Come upstairs, Vito. My feet are getting cold. You want a drink? Oh, I want a drink. What the fuck is wrong? With okay, you? so what's happening? Look, Falcone wants you dead. The guys are on their way. You gotta get out what? of here. Why the hell would I do that? Look, Falcone heard Vinci's planning to make a move on him because Clementi lied and said he was in the dope business. Lied? Vito, Carlo Falcone is in the dope business. Everybody knows that. Clemente tried to muscle his way into the business, so Falcone got rid of him. Now he wants to get rid of us, too, before we make a move on him. How do you know all this? I got my sources. Why did you come here again? Why? What, what are you getting senile on me? Because they're gonna kill you! Stop talking for Christ's sake, get dressed and let's go! Why don't we just get rid of whoever Carlos sent to whack me? We got the advantage? They don't know we're expecting I can't do that. I know the guy, I'm actually the one who got him the job. What? You hired your friend to whack me? No, not exactly. Look, I don't have time to explain. He's gonna be here any minute. Okay, wait here. I'll get dressed. Shit, too late, they're here. Oh shit, enemy can't see me here. We gotta hide, quick, before he comes up here. Oh god. Shit. Coming. Hmm, maybe we can fit in here. You gone nuts? Vito, what the hell are you doing here? Uh oh. All right, take it easy, Henry. Put the gun down. And send the guys away. I'm gonna explain everything. Boys, wait for me outside. If I don't come out in a few minutes, come looking for me. Oh, is that supposed to happen? Oh. Take a seat. What the hell is going on here? Look, Henry, Leo's a friend of mine, all right? He helped me out when I was in prison. He pretty much saved my life. And he's the reason I got made. Look, I didn't know anyone was gonna put a contract out on him. I had to warn him. You gotta understand. Yeah, but you gotta understand that I can't afford to screw this up. If I let Leo go, Falcone will think I fucked him on purpose and will have me killed. Damn it, Henry. I'm your friend here. I do the same thing for you and you know it. This has nothing to do with friendship, Vito. This is business. And if I screw up, I'm done. I can't let him go. I took a contract and I gotta finish the job. If you don't want to watch, you can leave. And don't worry about me. I won't tell anybody you were here. Look, Leo told me that all of this is because Falcone's into drugs. He's breaking the rules and he wants to get rid of anybody who knows about it. So what? The only people who aren't breaking those rules are Frank Vinci and Leo here. And those aren't the people who pay me. Rito, thanks for everything. But leave us now. I've had a long, good life. And it's not worth risking your neck to buy an old man a few more years. No, Leo. There's gotta be a way. Rito. Go. Sorry, Vito. I won't tell anybody you were here. Just make sure nobody sees you leave. Damn, that's fucked. Can 
Could I have gotten away? Surely not. You want me big for this one, pal? What? Hey, kid. Leo. You want a drink? What the hell happened? Your friend and I made a deal. I'm gonna disappear. Oh, nice. There's nothing left for me in this town anyway since my wife passed. And I was planning to retire someplace warm anyway. Oh, okay, well. Well, first, let's get out of here before your friend changes his mind. All's well that ends well then. <laughs> Where am I going? Is there a back way I missed? There must be. Oh, whoops. Oh, wow. Pretty cars. Come on. Okay, Vito. Now get me over to the train station. If you don't mind. This town's been good to me. But now it's time to say goodbye. Damn yeah, right I am. I'd rather be alive in my pajamas than dead in a three-piece suit. That's pretty deep. You, uh, gonna tell Frank what happened? Sure I am. But don't worry, I ain't gonna mention your name. You're gonna have enough to worry about as it is. Thanks, Leo. You know, this whole thing got complicated real fast, you know? Of course it did, Vito. What did you expect? <laughs> You swear the oath to put on a fancy suit and then it's one big party? Carlo's always been a shady bastard. Even for guys in this business. I've been warning Frank about him for years. So what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna disappear. Let things run their course. I'm gonna take the first train to Lost Heaven. Make a few phone calls, settle my the affairs. Pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Then I'm gonna oh, head come to the airport. On. I'm gonna go to the This time tomorrow, I'm gonna be sitting on a beach somewhere, sipping one of them fruity drinks with the umbrella in them. One thing's for sure. Carlo wants me dead, and sticking around here is like buying a one-way ticket to the morgue. Isn't that a little drastic? No, I've been meaning to retire anyway. When you get to be my age, Vito, then all this squabbling starts to seem a little pointless. Frank's never gonna change. He's a brawler. Nowadays, he just listens to the young hotheads because they tell him what he wants to hear. If he wants to be some kind of wise guy sheriff and go after Carlo, then he can do it without me. I'm just sorry I got you into this mess. That was my choice, Leo. All you did was speed things up a little. Besides, what the hell else was I gonna do? Go work on the docks like my old man? <laughs> You're preaching to the choir, kid. Hmm. Well, I don't know why I checked the map on here. <laughs> so, what are your plans, Vito? Looks like you're entered up to your neck right now. All right, here it is. Oh, there's Thanks more dialogue, for everything, yeah. Vito. Just promise me that you're never gonna be as stupid as you were today. Risking your neck like this just to buy an old man a few more years. Enjoy your vacation, old man. Nice. I did not anticipate doing that whole mission at all, but I did. How far off is home? Okay, it's right over here. Well, that went surprisingly wholesomely. Oh, so, oh, so what I was doing before was speeding, but that wasn't. God, these cops have different fucking personalities. That's a fucking conspiracy theory. It's not a hive mind. They got individual AI personalities, bro. <laughs> Some of them are more forgiven than others. Okay. Write that down in the, mo in the uh, Mafia 2 Conspiracies wiki. I actually don't know if there's a Mafia 2 Conspiracies wiki. Odds are there isn't. There used to be one for Get Ramp out of San Andreas, so, you know, you never know. Cool thing about San Andreas, though, is that all the shit that people wished were in the game but weren't just ended up getting modded in later, so, you know. That's the cool thing about mods. Something you want isn't in the game, fucking make it and put it in there. <laughs> Frankie, what? What are you doing here? Vito, I don't know what to oh, do. Oh, hey. I can't go back home. I don't want to see him ever again. What are you doing again. here, bro? Oh, what happened? See who? Eric. Your husband, why? <laughs> he drinks and he parties all the time. Whoa, and whoa, he... Does he hit you? No, but he's seeing somebody. I know he is. Does he hit you? Sometimes. Son of a bitch, I'll kill him. No, Vito. Please don't hurt him. I just thought you could talk to him. He'll listen Where to you. Where is he? I don't know. 
he has a friend who lives on on River Street. That's okay, usually okay. where right. he is. It's gonna be all right. All right, listen. Hey, hey. When you feel better, you go on home. I'll talk to Eric. That bastard doesn't come back today and apologize. You call me, but don't worry. I have a feeling he will. Okay, Vito. But please don't hurt him. Please. Don't worry. I'll go talk some sense into him. Okay. I'm gonna kill him. Yep, he's gonna die. I guess we're not done yet. Oh, just up the street, huh? Makes sense why he moved, moved here, huh? Eric! Time to die! I mean, I, I think, uh... I think, you know... Spousal abuse on man's sister warrants death. Just my personal opinion. Oh, that should have killed me, but it didn't. Get nae Okay. Officer, evening. Okay, we'll finally get to meet this Eric guy. I don't think we've seen him yet. Oh. Cool. Can I go in here? Or oh it's right here. Whoops. I am in the right place, right? you think you're doing? I'm busy here, okay? Get lost. I think you should be busy taking care of your wife, asshole. Oh. I'll teach you to hit a woman. That's basic as hell. I hate the combat system. It's such bullshit. Oh. Finishers are cool, though. Consider this a warning. You touch my sister again, I will fucking kill you. All right? Yeah. From now on, you're gonna stay home, stay off the dope, stop the drinking, and make sure she's fucking happy. If I ever, ever hear she's not happy, I'll find you and finish the fucking job. You got it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, everybody, party's over. And there won't be any more partying with this guy again, ever! Unless you want me to come back and do the same to the rest of you, got it? Damn. Well then. I take care of that. He fucking no-sold that bottle shop, by the way, I just gotta say. Oh, good thing I got my raincoat on. I knew that'd come in handy. And cool off my car as well. <laughs> Must have, must have psychic powers when I put that fucking thing on. <laughs> now I won't catch a cold. Oh Jesus. This car can't take too many more hits. It's going below. That being said, I'm just going to drive 80 miles per hour. Oh, yep. I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. I thought I was dead. The car was just broken though. Ten, 10 out of 10 vehicle repair. Evening officer. Yep, doesn't care if I drive on sidewalks, right? Got it. Just making sure. Just making sure. Oh. 
What a day. Oh, what now? Hello? You know, it's Francesca. Eric came home and he's all beat up. You said you wouldn't hurt him. He probably got in a fight. You know, he's been hanging out with a very bad crowd. He apologized for everything, Vito. He promised he'll be good to me. It's all okay now. So you'll leave him alone, won't you? Hey, whatever you want. But if he hurts you again, I'll kill him. <gasps> Listen to yourself, Vito. I, I don't know you anymore. Look, you you stay away from us, you understand? Just, just stay away. <laughs> Jesus, Mary and Stockholm Syndrome. Alright. On that note, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Uh-oh. Torch the place! Do it! Now! Oh my <laughs> god. You <table> cut. Born! <laughs> my house! My oh. boat. Fuck. Oh. I don't... I don't have any weapons, bruh. Their cars despawned. So I can't even take their cars. What kind of mission is this? Like, I know I'm supposed to feel ambushed and, and everything, but like... And how are they still hitting me? This is fucking bullshit. What do you what do you realistically expect me to be able to do? How are they still shooting at me? Hey, do you take me? No, I have to take myself. Okay. Sorry, bud. Nothing personal. Jesus Christ. So were those the guys from the prison? The guys, is that the, like the, why we got locked? Like guys that we, um, we we're still in the stamp job. Is it those guys? It's Jesus Christ. Fucking hell. Boy. Alright, let's just not die now. Oh, now there's magically cars. Great. That was ridiculous. No. I don't want to die. If I die, I have to go do all that again. I would really not prefer that. In pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Oh, come on, man. I'm not even speeding. I don't have any money. Damn it! Nice. Bike. We're almost there. That went so very not good. They didn't hit Joe as well. Why does everybody know where I live? Seems counterproductive. Should have stayed in the shitty apartment. Come on, Joe, don't tell me you're not home. Let's go. You better not be passed out. Come on! Oh no. All your horses. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, we barbecuing in your underwears? Yeah. Can I come in? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'll, I'll fix you a drink. That's new threads, bro. Holy shit. That's why I stayed here. What the fuck? Nice, ain't it? What the hell happened to this place? I spruced the giant up a little. What do you think? Yeah, it's really, uh. different. Yeah, huh? I decorated it myself. Oh, 
So what the hell happened? Here, take this. Those crazy fucking mix. What about them? What'd they do? They tried to fucking kill me. What? And they burned my fucking house down. Son of a bitch. So what are you gonna do? You wanna go deal with the mix right now? Damn right I do. All right, relax. Have a oh. drink. Let me make a few phone calls. And, uh, take a look at my closet. Unless you wanna go on a rampage in your skivvies. Thanks. Thought you'd never ask. You must get dressed. You must get dressed. Well, the bed's not too bad. Hey, it's Joe. Yeah, I know, I know. But I need a favor. A bunch of mix try to kill a good friend of mine tonight. Point this house down. I want to know who they are and where they're operating. A operate fucking clown now. suit. Did it get hey, any worse? You're gonna have a lot worse to worry about if you don't tell me. Mickey Desmond. Oh, oh, he is. Well, that explains it. Where is he now? Yeah, yeah, I know the place. All right, thanks. Hey, you finally got some style. Oh my god. I'm gonna want that shirt back, by the way. They don't make treads like those no more. Yeah, there's a reason for that, you know? Where are we going? <laughs> the Hill of Tara, the Mick joint in Kingston. Come on, I'll tell you the rest in the car. So why did they do that? They're the guys from the job, I'm guessing? But, I don't know. I did not expect this episode to be like two hours long, but fuck it, bro. I don't know when the next one's gonna be, so I might as well just play this game a fuckload. Come on, get in. I went the wrong door again, okay? Just give me a second. Do you have a car? Does he it's blocked? Blocked by what? By this? Oh. Alright. So you heard anything about the mix lately? Oh. Alright, whatever. Just get him. No, no, why? The mix got themselves a new boss. Name's Mickey Desmond. There's a few other guys who want to take his spot. So he's trying to show everybody that he means business. What the hell does that have to do with me? Brian O'Neill. He was Desmond's cousin. Ah, ah I should have known. My money's on him being down at that shithole joint right now. Laughing it up with the rest of those fucking yo-yos. So let's get over there and deal with him. That's the plan. Sounds like there ain't many of them left. So I guess we should just storm the place. Surprise the shit out of him. I like this plan. Assholes burnt my fucking house down. Relax, mm. we'll be there in a minute. Hope you had insurance. Shit, you're gonna need a piece. I almost forgot. Yeah, if you got one, that'd be good. If not, I'll just beat him to death with my bare hands. It makes no difference to me. Should be one in here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Here you go. Thanks. What is this, the Indianapolis Speedway? Yes. Take it easy, I'm in a rush. How far off are they? Oh, it's right here. Really what that cop. Oi. All right. Well, uh, you know what? I before I had an idea what of what I was going to the red lights. But that's when I was going to end the episode like an hour ago. So. <laughs> Ready, Vito? Come on. Let's go get these fucks. Nice. I told you. I chased him, but I lost him. The coward ran away. But I'll find him. Damn, I'm gonna get caught red luck for this. You were the one who ran away, asshole. Oh, fuck. You. You've got some balls. Where's Joe? Yes, I do. Are you serious? Go, Go where, man? You always say that. But where are we going? I'm going in. I bet, huh? Come on, show yourself. Oh, there he goes. Hey. 
more of them than we thought. Let's go, we're getting away. All right, come on, you drive. Off. Joe! Right, he is shooting a gun. gun. Copy that. Why? Lucky they pulled in there. Damn. Oh, this doing this traffic is number one bullshit. Got it. You maniac, you know that? Oh, are you trying to hit every? Oh, that takes care of that, huh? Yeah, but it don't give me my house back. Don't worry, business Bitch. is looking good. You'll have to cash for a new one real soon. Why did he get out? Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. All right, let's go back home. So it's okay if I crash on your couch, right? I could do one better than that. Here, take these keys. They're for Marty's apartment. I'm trying to get rid of it right now for his mother. So uh, you might as well use it while I do. Thanks. I guess. Don't thank me, buddy. You're too old to be sleeping on my couch. Plus, I just bought the thing. I don't want you lousing it up. Marty's apartment's over in Oyster Bay. It's kind of morbid. So you feel better now? Not really. What we did back there doesn't even start to make up for it. Hey, all that stuff they got piped up is just things, Vito. Just things? Hey, those are my things, Joe. Why do you think I do the shit we do anyway? It's to buy things. You know, suits, cars, broads, houses. Now I'm back to scratch. And all my damn cash was in that house, too. I promised myself I'd never be poor again. And I'm a fucking wharf rat like my old man. Hey, hey, I understand. Don't worry, we'll think of something. You'll be back on your feet in no time. Glass is always fucking half full with you, isn't it? Well, it's gotta be for somebody. Accelerator. No. Take it easy. I'm in a rush. Hey, you just went through a red light. Sure did. In front of a cop too. I see him bitching. So why are you? That's right. So says I. Believe eh? Okay, I'll see you around. I guess. What? See you, buddy. Sorry about tonight. Oh, well, I was dropping him off. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's all the way down there. Damn. So, I gotta say, this is definitely gonna be by far the longest episode of Mafia 2. Uh, was not... This was not planned. Not planning on doing this. Uh, making this, you know... Closer to two hours, but again, I don't know when the next episode's gonna be, so fuck it. Why not just do them in big bolts? There we go. Which building is it? This one? What a fucking dump. God, I wish I had the cash for a hotel. Yeah, or any cash. Oh, this place. is creepy. Yeah, it is a little bit creepy. Okay, I was gonna say, there's no way that's not the end of the chapter. Sea gift. September 22nd, 1951. My house burned to the ground, along with almost every penny I had. There was even some trouble with the cops, but Eddie took care of that. And since I didn't have any insurance, I had oh to live my in God. a shithole of an apartment until I could get back on my feet. At least I managed to save Leo. He disappeared without a trace. I doubt Frank Vinci even knew where he went. And even though Henry failed to deliver on the contract, Eddie still brought him in when he heard Leo had skipped town. Me and Joe had a new partner. Nice. Hey, Vito. It's Henry. Hey. Listen, I'm setting up something big. I want you to come in on it. If you're interested in hearing more, come meet me at Lincoln Park and bring a piece. Okay. I'll see you there. Okay. Let's go do it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going for... This is going to be an over hour and a half long episode. All right. 
Well, we'll meet them there next time on Mafia 2. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to do it for the Super Size episode of Mafia 2. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, be sure to like it. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch, I stream every single day, my second channel for instant views, my Twitter. If you want to follow me, my Patreon, if you want to support me, my daily motion, my VL, all those things are in the description down below. Thank you to all 71 of my Patrons. If you're con supporting me and my channel, I appreciate you guys. For those of you don't know, you can be Patreon me for $1, $1. You get access to reaction videos, as well as reading your comments a day early and your name description. Also, inscriptions like community red, as well as daily schedules, as well as Twitch VOD's channel. For all that being said, though, my name is Taffer Steen. This has been Mafia 2. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.